Okay, the moment you start your experiments in the lab, when you switched on the scope, the best thing to do is to default the scope. Okay, it means that everything will go back to the original settings and you don't have to worry about the previous person, what he did on the scope or anything. Okay, now, as I said in the beginning, this scope is designed to work with times 10 probes and you are going to use times 1 probes. So, every channel you can control individually. The yellow signal is connected to the yellow button and the blue signal is connected to the blue button. So pressing one of these buttons will bring up the menu for that channel. Okay, and pressing it again, the yellow disappeared, so you can switch off a channel. So currently, there is no channels on on this scope. Okay, the signal disappeared. Let's press this again, now it's only the yellow signal. Okay, note, here the probe is set to times 10. We are going to use times 1 probes, so push the button, press the attenuation, and you need to use this knob and select using the knob by pressing it and set it to times 1. Okay, so channel 1 is now set for a times 1 attenuation, so it is set in all the probes that you received. Okay, we go to channel 2 you will see that it's still set on times 10. So you can use a times 1 probe on channel 1 and a times 10 probe on channel 2. It's not a global setting. Right, <clears throat> now, let's go back to, to channel 1 here. Here on the side you will see a couple of details. DC coupling, meaning your signal will also show the DC data, not just the AC data. If you press it, it brings up a menu where you can select DC, AC or ground. So, when you need to see the DC voltage as well, you just select it on DC and AC is when you only want to see the AC signals. Okay. <clears throat> Bandwidth limiting, it's best to have it on and it limits the noise that comes into your scope. Okay, so when it's on, your scope is limited to 20 megahertz bandwidth and when it's off, you can do 50 megahertz. So less noise equals more accurate readings. Right. You can set your voltage per division if you, if you want your tuning fine, of course. And what that means is when you tune the voltage per division, the jumps is big. Okay? And you can see your voltage per division down there is the yellow channel, and there is for the blue channel. You can also see that the yellow channel is bandwidth limited and the blue channel is not. <clears throat> okay, right here you can see your time per division setting. So when I tune this knob here, you can see your times per division increasing or decreasing. Right. Now, Next, you can also use this position knobs to move your signal up and down a bit and that is nice if you need to separate the two signals from each other if you want to see more detail and you can see the ground indication here at the side channel 1, channel 2. So when it's on AC coupling, you know where the mill is, and when it's on DC coupling, you know where the ground is. 